Hi Aquarius, my name is Debbie and I am an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your weekly general message for November 20th and until the 26th, 2017. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you would like something more just meant for you, that all the information in the description box below provides that for you if you're interested. Okay guys, so let's get started. Quite an interesting spread. Aquarius, wow, you really have a wish. Um, your first star, or your first star, your first card is the star card. Okay, my brain's working a little overtime here. Um, yeah, so you have the star card, which is a major arcana. It is also known as the wish upon a star card. So there is definitely a desire, a want, a wish that you want. I feel that uh, your, your, your message is pretty cut and clear, to tell you the truth. Right underneath that is the six of swords. Now the swords are mental energy, but I feel that you want to move away with your mind, with your thoughts uh, from these rough waters into something more calmer. And it being right above this is, I feel that this is part of your wish, okay? Definitely. That it's taken a lot of your strength in order to do so because you have the temperance card. And I'm sorry, did I? Patience. But since I said strength, I feel that it takes a lot of your strength as well. This is also the patience card, the temperance is. So it's really worn on your patience as well. Okay, so I feel that you are going to be able to get your wish because the yes, this is the yes card. This is the sun card. It's the warmth. It's your future. It's your happiness. It's one of the best cards, major arcana in the deck. This is known as the yes card. And I feel that you are going to be able to achieve this wish. I feel that not just mentally with your mental thoughts, with the six of swords here of moving on with your thoughts, but I feel there is uh, going to be your wish is to move away from something. And it's kind of ironic when I was shuffling, I take the cards that pop out. They're called known as jumpers. And that's what I take. And the, the devil card kept wanting to pop out. And I was like, yeah, I'm really feeling this devil card. So there might be some type of toxic relationship that you are in that you just want to mentally get away from and move away from this relationship. Definitely. Okay, so next to the Temperance card is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is, I feel, is what you want to achieve, is what I heard when I first put this card down. This is what you want to achieve. It's also the ending of something, okay, of, of your happiness, your love kind of thing. Uh, um, I, I almost feel like a toxic relationship and that this is your abundance. This is what you want. It's the top notch. It's as high as you can go. And I feel that this is your desire, your wish, okay? Okay, so uh, next to the Eight of Cups is the World Card, and the World Card is known as a Completion Card, which makes total sense with this. You just not have uh, the Eight of Cups, which is like a physical movement in regards to a love relationship because the Cups are in regards to love, but you also have the Six of Swords, which is mentally walking away, moving on with your thoughts, definitely. You not just have the star card here, which is a major arcana, which is known as the wish card, but you also also have as the um, underlining energy of this reading is the nine of cups, and the nine of cups is a wish in regards to a love situation. So to have two wish cards and to have two moving on cards, two moving away from cards. And if you really want to get technical, underneath this nine of cups, which is the overall energy, this wish card, you have the chariot. I mean, that's just screaming that someone out there, uh, Aquarius, wants to move on with their life because the chariot is a major arcana, which means that it's a major message that needs to get across to you in regards to moving on. That would be three three moving on cards mentally physically going for it kind of thing yeah and that i feel that there's something that is going to be ending and that i feel in a relationship definitely and you're going to be able to move on kind of feeling definitely with this ending because it's taken forever forever feeling this is the hangman this uh this situation has taken forever it's like the limbo card it's the waiting game it just feels like it's forever this uh relationship is definitely in regards to um 
Now it could be, there could be an ending because it has right underneath this is the world card, which would be the completion. And right above here is the six of cups. Now the six of cups is known as nostalgia, as known as your past, okay? So it could go both ways. I'm getting it both ways. Whatever resonates with you, it is a general reading. Please take what applies. But you could be completing something from your past in order to move on or because it was right next to this Ten of Pentacles and this is the Six of Cups, meaning your past, that your past will be bringing you much joy and happiness, okay? But there is definitely a moving on feeling because next to the Six of Cups is the Three of Wands, okay? And this is you looking out to, towards your future. I'm sorry, my battery's dying. Looking out towards your future, hoping for the best, hoping for this sun, okay? This brand new I almost feel brand new, definitely, because if you have a completion, there's going to be a new beginning, and it's going to be powerful and mighty and warm and sunny and beautiful feeling, definitely. And that is part of your wish, that you're looking out for this warmth, for this bright, bright future is what I'm feeling, definitely. Okay, so you guys have, uh, from the Dorian Virtue, um, Healing with the Fairies cards, you actually have two, and the first one is... Uh, look inside yourself so i feel like you kind of already know what you want to do feeling definitely but to have like that deep thought of figuring out what you want to do but i really feel that you are definitely going for it uh with with the double with the dupe cards is what i call um meaning the same meaning for two cards i feel that you already know but still to take that breath and to look inside yourself and figure it out kind of feeling because i feel like you already do know but and then it says for this one, it is honoring, whoopsie, honoring your true feelings. So I feel that once um, you are deep in your thoughts and figure things out, I feel that the truth is going to be coming out on how you truly feel with your life and the situation in regards to, um, yeah, there's not really any decision cards, which would be the two. So I really feel that you are going to be, that you already know your answer that you are moving on, that this is a wish of yours to be able to move on. Something in regards to your past, either you're moving on from your past or that your past will be bringing you this abundance, definitely. And then it's taking a long, long time. Well worth it, though, well worth it because it's going to, I feel that it's definitely going to be giving you much uh, love, much happiness feeling for sure. Yeah, especially if you are going to be honoring your true feelings. Tell them how you feel. You know, in regards to love, definitely. Wow. Yep. Okay, guys. I, I know that this was kind of short, but um, if you have any questions or if you would like a private reading, uh, please email me in the description box below. You guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.